Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Oh, fabulous indeed. International beer. Now, it's an interesting story about this beer, and I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, I wrote it down here. Um, H-I-T-E Jinko with a J. Hite Jinko. Hite Jinko. It's from Seoul, South Korea. It's from Seoul, South Korea. Hi, Jinko. Yeah, I'm probably butchering that, but it's the best I can do. Uh, Terra, and it says from AGM. Now, this beer is kind of a mystery to me. It says 100% real carbonated beer made from pure AG malt. And then on the top here, it says Australia's finest, uh, what's I say? The finest malt select. And so when I was uh, picking this up, I saw the word Australia. I think, oh, wow, a beer from Australia because, yeah, you get Foster's and uh, what's the other big one? I can't remember. Yeah, you, you, there's not much around this part of the United States from Australia. So I was all excited to get it home, Seoul, South Korea. I said, well, that's just as good because I never had a beer from Korea. So, hey, um, what's the alcohol on here? You know, did I write that down, too? Because I have a bad memory lately. 4.6%. 4.6%. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to put it over here, away from everything. Yeah. Because this beer traveled a long way. Matter of fact, I should get my bowl out. I keep a bowl just for these occasions. What you do is you put the can in the bowl, and you open it. And if it decides to come up over the top, it goes in the bowl instead of everything else. And this is my stir stick. All right, so I'm going to use this glassware right here that I picked up a number of years ago from World Market. Yeah, they don't make them anymore now. You can't buy them on Amazon, but you got to buy a whole darn set. Man, that is <laughs> – I knew that would happen, right? Now, beer from Korea, I'm expecting some adjuncts in here. I'm expecting some rice in here, maybe some corn. But it does say on here, 100% uh, pure malt select. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I've had beers in um, Asian restaurants before, and they are highly malty. Highly. Yeah. All right. We got all that in there. Um, so I'm expecting this one to be rather multi as well. Very clear pour, light golden color, lively carbonated, very lively carbonated. Made some nice bright white foam on there. Um, let's see what we have here. Definitely a lot of malt. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, when I lived in downtown Cleveland, they have uh, Asia Town where they have restaurants from all over the, the uh, Pacific. I mean, I'm talking about Vietnam, Korea, Hong Kong. Yeah, everywhere you could imagine within like a four-block radius. So you can go to a different part of uh, Asia every day if that's your uh, thing. They did have a brewery up there. It wasn't an Asian brewery, but uh, I would often send for a takeout and have it you know, delivered, rather, to the uh, brewery. And I tell you, man, they make some great food. Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting a lot of mold in there. Hey, let's thank the brewers in South Korea for all the hard work they did and the distributor to get it all the way over here to America. Cheers to everybody. Wow. That has got a lot of carbonation in it. A lot of mold. And a lot of carbonation. And it does say right on here something about the carbonation. It says 100% real carbonated beer. And then it says made from pure AG malt. Now, AG malt, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. I don't know what that is. So 
as a standalone beer, this not quite doing it for me. Uh, but as a beer in general, this would go great with any Asian cuisine, no doubt about it, or American cuisine for that matter, the backyard picnic, the backyard barbecue. But for me, for me, this is not a standalone beer. Just saying, yeah. Every once in a while, I come across a beer that would be much better with food. And this is one of those beers. But it's not a bad beer. It's not uh, an undrinkable beer. It's not horrible. It's just that it needs to be with some food. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's maintained a small amount of head. The carbonation is still flowing up freely. That's not a bad beer at all. It's not a bad beer, but you won't see a six-pack in my shopping cart anytime soon. <laughs> it's got a slightly sweet taste from the malt, but it's not off-putting. It's not a deal killer. It is what it is, though. And so uh, let's go ahead and show it one more time. This is from uh, yeah, the Height 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 Jinkle Height Jinkle. Yeah, I got to put a little accent on Height Jinkle uh, Brewery. It's uh, Seoul, Korea. This is the Terra, and it is um, malt. Yeah, if there's any hops in here, they're well hid. They're well hidden. But uh, you know what? When you when you put a stick to this, you bring it back in a couple seconds because. This is so lightly carbonated, it's not going to take much to bring bring back the foam on it. So uh, there you have it. Uh, not a bad beer, but like I said, it would go best with food. It would be best with food. With that said, my friends, I'm going to run out of here. Remember, life is short. Let's be happy. Try new things like this beer. Hey, don't don't think about what I said. You might like this beer. Mm, you might. Oh, with that in mind, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you. The very best goodbyes, <laughs> as always. Cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charge me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less 
Uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.